Well, we have another first. That's in the works tonight for making movies in New York City. Producers have always liked making films here in the city, but as John Slattery found out, if this new plan is successful, movie makers may start flocking to the Big Apple. When it comes to movies, we all know the number one place is the Hollywood set. But when Hollywood producers want a real-life backdrop, there's no place more popular than New York. It's provided on-location filming for movies like The Verdict with Paul Newman, My Favorite Year with Peter O'Toole, the sequel to Looking for Mr. Goodbar with George Siegel. But in New York, these movies are expensive to shoot. Enter film producer Robert Evans. He wants to do a $20 million movie. I said, I can't afford to make it in New York. I can't afford to make it in Los Angeles. I'm bringing it to London. Evan says the problem is this. Film crews work a 12-hour day, including four hours of overtime and a lunch break. Very expensive, and he says very unproductive after lunch. So he struck a deal with eight film unions. We are going to work European hours for the first time in the history of American film, which means that we work from 11 to 7 without a lunch break. Eight straight hours with a continuous buffet. And Evans I... says the union concessions allow a longer shooting schedule and another $4 million to be put into the film instead of overtime. It's the first such union concession in 50 years. Before the unions are not uh, turning their back in any new innovations. Will this mean more films for New York? Oh, definitely. If it works, absolutely. Even if it doesn't work. Yes, I think it will, it will definitely mean more films for New York. And more films mean more jobs for carpenters, electricians, for caterers. But so far, this is an experiment, one time only, on this one film to be called Cotton Club. John Slattery, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Kind of like those hours, 11 to 7, mm, out the door. Ready when you are, yeah. CB. <laughs>